What's up creative ones welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2 if you guys have been enjoying the series be sure to leave a like on the video in the last episode we took uh, we saved Jack we got him reunited reunited with his mom and John and now we have a couple missions right here I did say we were gonna do uh, the Mary Beth mission this episode so hopefully it is something worth doing Wait, 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 where's uh Mary Beth? Wait, so are you telling me there's no missions now? And there's bounty hunter stuff. Uh, okay, I will see you guys in just a little bit. I think it's because we have a camp party and I'm going to go put Arthur to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, we f uh, finally woke up. We figured out where our bed was. Uh, it was on the very it was on the very first like floor, like the first door to the right left, I don't know. Uh, but now we got our missions popped up here. Let us do like I said, we are going to do the Mary Beth mission, and then we are going to do Hosea right after. Austin? Hey. That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with it now. Molly? Why there? Don't know what we're going to do with you. I don't either. Buck up. It's going to be all right. Sorry. Ain't much company right now. Hold on. Okay, so where is Mary Beth? Is she outside? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like all the way over there. So what do you think of this place? You folks sure move How around are a lot. things? I can't complain. Good for you. Hello. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <sighs> If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? 
I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her and Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Well, I'll get some eyes out. See if we can track him down. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Come on now. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Okay, I had that idea first, but I didn't think she was going to go all Rambo on me. Shit! What the hell is that? I'm going all knife. All knife right now. She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> Is there more, or, or was it just him? Oh no, there's more, okay. Come here. Alright, I think that last one's the boss. Last the women, we'll take him back to Tilly. Ooh, say no more, say no more. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come on, I just gotta get a little bit closer. Rope that bastard. Don't let him get away. You 
Oh, come on. What? No. No. Am I going to do it all over? I feel like I'm about to. Come on, can I? I can leave off right here. Thank you. What were you talking about before? I don't even know. That's like the 17th time a horse has bucked me off where I've gotten thrown. Oh my goodness. Arthur, what, what, what's going on today? What, what, what's going on this episode? Come on, just gotta do a nice simple lasso. A simple lasso and grab. Stay away from me. I'm warning you. I thought I got him. Come on, Arthur, you got this. Okay, come on. Am I doing it wrong? Yep. Oh, he tried to he tried to hit me with a crossover. Okay. Oh, he's trying to cross me. Oh, he's stuck. Okay, he's stuck. What? Oh my goodness. There we go. Finally. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Open me like a damn steer! Arthur! Take these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Look at the floor for a bit. This is a dope horse. I kind of want this horse. He, he's like a, a the Dalmatian of horses. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Calm down, horse. Calm it down. We were chasing. We were chasing this guy for a for a uh, for a mile. Get off me. Whoa, 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 horse! Calm it down. I don't need you to buck me off. We do not need that right now. What is going on with this horse? Why is he freaking out? Why is he freaking out? What the hell? anything I have like oh you okay you needed some stamina okay oh wait was that for me or was that for uh for the horse alright here's your man bring him here dump him on the ground here I want to get a good look at this monster So he's still alive then? I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman! 
I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Oh, man. Go. Hold on. Finish the bastard off. Sadly, I agree with you. Dang. Okay. Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. We took this man out with no hesitation. Okay, oh, are we just gonna leave his body here? I'm gonna see what he had on him, if he had any anything valuable. Horse stimulant. That that's about it. What what about you? What do you what do you got on you? No? You ain't even gonna pop up with any loot? Okay. So is this my horse now? Like Let's go, girl. I'm about to say, can I keep this horse? Oh, that's first person. Okay, that's kinda cool. Uh let's see. So now we're gonna do Hosea. Okay, we're all the way okay, we got a Leopold mission. We got a letter too. All right, let's head back to camp and let's see what Hosea has for us. All right, Hosea, what do you got for us? Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're going to make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linder's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> ah, the angry cowboys! You've arrived! And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. Mm. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out old Cornwall and what's his name. No, no, it's right here. Gentlemen, you will. Good evening. Ah, get me a bloody drink, will you? Hi there. A small one. Just Man. big enough for me to good swim evening. lengths in, you know? You're smelling <laughs> good, fellas. Whatever, did you get back like that? You tell us. You won't go away from history. Bonjour, monsieur. I try. Mostly I fail, but I try. How are you? Can I help you, sir? Well, how are you all? I'm quite sure you have Why would you do this? Now, Mark Danielson. Brent Tilden. How's it going? This is Mr. Hector Fellows. Evening, folks. You French? Good day, sir. Sort of. How are you all doing? I'm from Quebec. But I left me. Evening, gentlemen. 
and you... How do you do, oh. sir? <laughs> How's things? <laughs> Quite well, thank you. I'm a banker. A banker? An investment banker. You okay? My lord! The pesky nut! What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Algin and Morris. Hello? Uh, Tassinus Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? Um, uh... I'm an adventurer. Oh! And me too! Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An esteem in this land of commonplace heathens. National Bank. My card, sir. I need a big bank, sir. Can you visit in my atelier? I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin. Until I pass away. Good evening. Cash and cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan included. So is that who we weren't supposed to find? How you doing? The Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. It ain't complex, am you? And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man... This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Hello? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. I need to rejoin the park. I know. Sir? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, that fantastic. Excuse me, father. Excuse me, father. Uh, Monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Hey! Is 
everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Chip and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight! Am I sneaking up behind him, or am, or am I just like... Look at this letter real quick before we go back to Dutch. All right. Let's get up out of here like nothing ever happened. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I, was, I forgot how to um, get back downstairs for a second. through here of course and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it a big bank real one I mean but not yet a city bank maybe and a stuffed one if we're gonna leave that could be the one thing we need there's also that trolley car station senor Bronte told us about and I heard about a high stakes poker game come on Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? 
Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, if you guys did enjoy this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2, be sure to leave a like for more. Uh, until next time, I'm flying out. I'll catch you guys all on the next video. Until then, stay positive out there, guys. Love ya. Peace.